Uh, Chris Chinock here for Insight Media in the Canon booth at CES 2023. We're uh, going to talk about their uh, free viewpoints uh, technology. Uh, this is a, a technology where they can array 100 4K cameras around an arena or a set. Uh, this co concept has already been installed at the Brooklyn Nets as well as the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, basketball stadiums. Uh, and in those uh, implementations, uh, each of the cameras has a, a separate processing unit attached to it. Uh, and what that processing unit does is it basically uses uh, um, visual data to extract the foreground. So these cameras are standard uh, 4K cameras. They do not have a depth sensor. Uh, so extracting, they're using purely optical means to extract the foreground from the background. Uh, that, and that sub significantly reduces the data rate. Uh, so it's an uncompressed foreground signal that's sent from each camera after the processing unit uh, back to an IBM server, which sits in the uh, in the stadium somewhere, of course, in the production p p uh, studio. Uh, they didn't say exactly what the data rate of that is, but it was a significant reduction, of course. And I believe it would be uncompressed at that point. Uh, so it's a pretty heavy-duty IBM server then that has to create uh, the point cloud representation of the of the uh, the player, the foreground essentially, uh, and then it can render the multiple views to uh, allow kind of virtual cameras to zoom around that player, uh, either in up, down, around. Uh, almost any viewpoint can be created as a re as a result uh, because once you have that point cloud, you have a 3D representation of of it, and then you can texture, do the, te the video textures on uh, on top of that. Now, for the background, they it's a basically a static background because trying to capture uh, yeah, all those yeah. fans uh, becomes way too uh, data intensive, which is why they use the optical techniques to extract just just the foreground and transmit it back uh, to the server. So, what they're showing here at um, at CES is um, a, a recreation of a scene from M. Night uh, Shanahan's uh, new movie that's coming out in February. They've constructed uh, a whole cabin here, um, but the scene that they shot uh, for the free viewpoint demonstration uh, actually had a, uh, I guess it was from the real set, uh, and they have a, a short sequence, and they arrayed the cameras all around, and there are four particular viewpoints that the user can select. I looked at the demo. Um, and it's got a kind of a crow's view. It's got a character, two character views, and a cricket view. So the cricket view is like on the ground, looking at uh, at the scene from the cricket's point of view. While the crow, of course, flies up in the air and has a top-down view. Uh, it's actually quite amazing that you could get such perspectives um, from the top and from the ground from that array of 100 cameras. I, I presume it's kind of the, I didn't get the details of how those cameras are configured, but I would assume it's kind of in a spherical configuration to be able to uh, to reconstruct all those points of view. And the fidelity of the image was actually quite impressive. Uh, so uh, I obviously they're going to continue to improve the technology and upgrading to uh, 8K cameras uh, could be in the works. Um, now, for the broadcast applications, uh, they're actually rendering out as a as a full HD image, but the server is capable of rendering a, a 4K uh, image uh, at this point. Broadcasters don't really need that 4K image, but the system is capable of doing it. So it's pretty cool stuff from Canon. Chris Chenna for Inside Media.